So GDT Tulu Hike 2019. Uh, Dan and I hiked it in 2017. Now I'm going out on my own. Dan is joining me for the first section, which I'm super happy, grateful that he's doing that. Got a lot of anxiety, but I think that's good. I guess I just want to spend some time alone. Whoa, there's so many mosquitoes. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about why I decided to do the GDT by myself. So Dan and I have through hiked the Pacific Crest Trail. It was amazing. It was so good. So Dan and I have done a lot of miles together. I love hiking with him and I wish that he was joining me, um, but he's unable to. So when he said, no, he can't do one this summer, he's too busy. Then I was like, oh, okay, we won't do it, that's fine. And then Dan was like, well, why don't you do it by yourself? And I was like, well, because I don't, I don't usually hike by myself. I never camp alone. And, and so it kind of was like eating at me and I thought, well, why can't I do it? What are the limitations that I'm putting on myself? And um, I decided that it was all in my head. <laughs> so yeah, I'm, I'm out here doing it alone just because I think I should, I should give it a go. been such a beautiful day. So happy to be out here. to go up Big Shale Hill. It's a nice cold morning, which is actually kind of nice. There's not as many bugs. This is the pass, pretty steep. Other options are steeper. We got some goats. So we're in the Jack Pine Alpine, working on some high routes. It's been hard. T's been a trooper today, but it's really been stretching her comfort zone. Just a lot of Steep hills, loose footing, things like that. Nothing too crazy, but just a lot of it. I had no idea that the GDT had alternates like this. Um, it's certainly testing my um, abilities, but it also feels really good, even though it's slow. Dan left me this morning. I got on the trail at 8.30, so that's when a paths uh, parted and now I'm officially hiking the GDT solo. A um, couple glitches already. The tent is soaking wet so my pack feels extra heavy and my GPS is not picking me up on my phone and I'm heading into 
an alpine area without trail. So I have maps as a backup. It'd be nice to know where I am <laughs> exactly on a GPS, especially since I'm new to being alone. I'm trail! Woohoo! Haven't seen you in a while. Oh, so beautiful though. You might say, I don't want to walk on that trail, but let me tell you, I want to walk on that trail. Yes, my feet are soaked, but it's a trail and I'm not lost. Porcupine on the trail in front of me. It's okay, buddy. Here he goes. Good side of goats. Little white speckles. Good morning. I just packed up camp at Chown camp and this is the Chown Creek. I didn't really film anything yesterday. It was super soggy and had a really hard time with this river valley here. You can't really see it that well, but uh, really cold, lots of creek crossing, some bushwhacking on the side. So anyways, today looks sunny, which is great. It's supposed to be mostly sunny and I have a lot of wet stuff strapped on the back of my pack. North Boundary Trail. Amazing. Not muddy. I will be able to dry out hopefully around lunch, put some of my stuff out and get it dry. Oh, feeling so much better. The uh, sun has been out today, but the boundary, the North Boundary Trail is mostly in the shade. So I was kind of bummed because I was like, had a toque on and my mitts and all this wet clothes. Now it's kind of come out closer to the floodplain. I just sported the Smoky River. Um, just behind me here, I kind of picked a spot that had a lot of blades so that all the water isn't going into one channel. I think it went pretty good. I'm just heading up Moose Pass, which is one of the most beautiful spots, I think. It is the nicest, I think, in Section F. Oh, life is just so good to wake up to sun like this and a beautiful pass. It's just like, these are the moments when I'm like, this is what I'm, this is why I'm doing it. Days like this, I mean, just doesn't get any better than this. Honestly, it just doesn't. Like, hello. I just want to talk about section G for a second. So that's the highest section on the Great Divide Trail. And I know that a lot of people don't push through that last section and go to Kakwa. They stop at Robson. But I just want to encourage people who have through hiked the GDT and didn't do that section to at least consider to come back and do it because it is like, <laughs> it's insane. It's so beautiful. It's by far the best section on the GDT. I think it was Dustin Lynx who said section G is like the heart of the Great Divide Trail. It is wild. I love you too, Great Divide Trail. I'm totally keeping this one. <laughs> this is the trail. Mud, mud, mud. Pretty sweet, eh? I guess I'm gonna make a bit of noise on the trail. Looks like I'm not alone. I forgot about Grant Pass. I am in love. Totally awesome. Good morning. I am heading it's about 26 kilometers. I'm just starting this morning and I have 26 kilometers to my vehicle. Some beautiful hanging glaciers in the background. I don't know if you can see them. 